what, what the haters talking about. What's up, family? I want to talk to y'all about 19 year old Kanika Jenkins. She is the girl that was found in the freezer in Rosemont, Illinois. Rosemont is about 30 miles away from Chicago. Now, the story that the police give is that she was hanging out with some friends at a party at the hotel and she was in this room, they were drinking, socializing, whatever. She turns up missing. Her sister says that her last time hearing from her sister was around 1.30 that morning. The family reports her missing at around one o'clock on Saturday afternoon. They discover her body shortly after Sunday morning. The police say that Kanika was drinking and she walked into the freezer, basically trying to say that she caused her own death. Now, I don't know if these motherfuckers are just incompetent or if they just don't give a fuck and they're trying to avoid using any resources they have to investigate the murder. Because common sense will tell you that this girl was murdered. This is fucking common sense. Now, First of all, who the hell wanders off into a damn freezer, a commercial freezer, and closes the doors and dies? That shit don't happen. It don't happen. They say she was 100 pounds. If you know anything about commercial freezers, especially the kind that I would assume that would be at Crown Plaza Hotel, you would know. Those doors are very fucking heavy. And they said that they were double doors. But the case is still wide open. It's a developing case. But I can tell you that one thing the verdict is not out on is her fucking friends. These motherfuckers are some of the most despicable people on the fucking planet. How could you call yourself a friend and set a friend up like that and your friend end up dead and you send her mama on a wild goose chase for the killer? Now, they say that one of the girls that was in the room worked at the hotel. So she had access to the freezer. Because I'm going to tell you, I've been at a lot of hotels. I don't even recall ever walking into the kitchen of a hotel because they keep those places very secure. You have no reason, first of all, to go inside of a kitchen. And they keep those doors locked. Even if it was under construction, they say it was under construction. But even with it being under construction, a hotel the size of the Crown Plaza, with the money that they have and the professionalism that they have, with how they do everything. I just seriously doubt that anybody, any guest could just walk into the damn kitchen, even if it was under construction, especially the area where they keep the coolers. Even if it was under construction, I'm sure that since it had electricity and all, that they were probably still using that cooler. 
her friends. They know exactly what happened to that girl. And them motherfuckers need to come forward. Every last one of them. All of this, and, and let me tell you something too. Anybody sitting over there with some, oh, I, you trying to get me to snitch? Man, fuck all that. Imagine if that was your fucking sister. Imagine if that was your daughter, your cousin. Imagine, would you want somebody to fucking come forward? Time out for that trying to be hard shit. What's hard is motherfucking being true to yourself with all of these fake ass motherfuckers all around you. That's what's hard. You want to keep it real? Call them funky motherfuckers out who killed that girl. Bring their asses, show their faces to the world, let everybody see who they are, tell the story how it went. Since you so real, if you want to really be real, and I'm going to tell you something else. It's a, all, first of all, it ain't just one person who knows what happened to that girl. It's not just two, it's not just three. I bet you damn near everybody in that room know exactly what happened to that girl. And because people just love to talk, I can guarantee you at least a couple dozen people know what happened to her by now. At least. Y'all want these fucking murders to stop? Y'all want people to just stop doing this foul ass shit with no consequences? You got to out their asses. You got to let them know that we are about protecting the community not disrespecting our community. If you out here killing our babies, if you making the neighborhood unsafe to live in, if you bringing any type of disrespect our way, we gonna get at your ass. That's what a real man do. A real man ain't gonna shit where he lay his head. All that trying to be hard shit. Oh man, we riding for the hood. You ain't riding for shit. You riding for your own self-interest. You ain't riding for the hood because the hood ain't going to ride for you. All this shit. I'm going to die for the hood. You ain't going to die for shit. If you do, you a damn fool. The hood ain't going to die for you. When your ass die, all the hood going to do is put on some damn t-shirts and say R.I.P., they're going to drink a little drink, pour a little drink, smoke a little smoke, and then they're going to wait on the next motherfucker to go through the same little old shit that you just got through going through and your family went through. Man, get that damn woman some justice. Get that damn girl or mama some justice. Give her some justice. If you got an ounce of respect for yourself, if you got an ounce of decency, if any of your friends who know the true story got an ounce of dignity, Get they motherfucking asses up, man. That's cold-blooded, man. The, the, the amount of respect, man, that we have for each other, that we have for life, that you could take that girl life like that. I heard they had some situation going on where some sex was supposed to be involved, 200 bucks backstage or some old shit. I don't know. All the facts ain't out yet. But somebody know the entire story. And they need to give it up. Imagine if that was your mom. Man, that one man is watching that video of that girl's mama crying, just trying to tell a story. First of all, whoo, man, I can't even imagine no shit like that happening to mine. I'm telling you, man, fuck the police. I don't give a damn what, man. I'm, I'm going to find out. Oh, it's going down. I'm not going to wait on the police. I know how they rock. Couldn't nothing, couldn't nothing stop me from getting justice. It wouldn't be nothing on earth that could stop me from getting justice. I could see it in that mama's eyes. She looked like a rider. She looked like she ain't going to stop. She looked like she going for it. She going for the gold. I don't, I don't think she going to sit back and rest on this. I think she going to get some justice. 
That's cold-blooded, man. You got an ounce of dignity, an ounce of self-respect, and you know what happened? Tell them people what happened. Get them funky motherfuckers up who did that to that girl. Because just like it happened to her, it could happen to you. Trust you me, you got would-be killers out there besides the ones who killed her are going to be emboldened by the fact that they did that and could possibly get away with it. Their asses should be brought in right now. In fact, soon as it happened, them motherfuckers should have had handcuffs on their ass inside of five minutes. If you know that's how it's going to happen. In fact, it wasn't even supposed to happen. Let's put it like that. When you saw what was going on, and girls ride for each other. What, girl, what kind of girls don't click up? When girls, man, they come and go. They, them girls don't roll by themselves. They don't lead, walk out the damn room by themselves and just go. You don't allow your friend to just walk out the damn door with some dude she don't know. Girls don't rock like that. No girls I know do no shit like that. Man, them women click, click up, man. They could be in the fucking club. It could be eight of them. All of them walking to the damn restroom at the same time. They protect each other. They watch each other back. What kind of foul ass women is that? Would let their friend roll with some old sucker ass nigga and let them do that shit to them. Man, that's some foul shit. So now the mother is waiting on the results for the autopsy. Let me tell you something. All you youngsters out there, mothers, fathers, Listen to me. Please listen. Pass this lesson on if you ain't already did it. Let me tell you something. You got one life to live. One. There are so many people out there that want your life. They want to take your life. Some of them don't even consciously try to take your life. It's just the stupid shit they do. The positions, the predicaments that they put you in could cause you your life. You don't drink, but you hop in the car with your friend who drank. And you know how that go. Normally when there's an accident, somebody get killed, the motherfucker that was drinking don't even die. It's the passengers who get killed. Or the drivers and the passengers of the other car. You got people, friends, who will take you to the dope house. Or they didn't sold some dope or whatever and somebody come to their house, you just chilling. But when the killers come, they ain't gonna ask no question. They ain't gonna say, hey, excuse me, they get, get out the wayside and shoot your friend. They killing everybody because there ain't no rules in the dope game. It's one of the most disrespectful games in the world. You got individuals who will get into conflict, call you up and say, yeah, man, they over here messing with me, man, they riding on me. You go run over there, not realizing you running right into an ambush because the friends see you rolling up. All they know is that you with him. So you must be coming to help him out. Next thing you know, you hop out the car, you dead. You got friends who will burn somebody for some money or something or anything, may have conflict or whatever. And you ride in the car, you just sitting. You ain't did nothing. You cool. You just sitting in the car. Next thing you know, they shooting up the whole car. You dead. You got people that you get into relationships with who will turn you on to drugs. Next thing you know, you OD. You got women who will have a relationship with two dudes at the same time or have one dude who she just ended a relationship with and he's still hovering. You over here, you the brand new dude. She ain't telling you all the stories she ain't telling you everything. So, dude come over to the house thinking this is just a regular thing. We break up all the time. We make up and break up. We make up and break up. Now, it's a new dude at the house. 
You got to defend your manhood because he's telling you, motherfuck you, do, 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 do. Next thing you know, boom, you, you out of here. Just like that. You got to be very careful about who you allow in your space. Because there are people out there who would take your life and they look like friends. The so-called friends that Kanika Jenkins had, they the worst of the worst. I'm telling you, if you watch this video, and I'm sure one of you will catch it, if you have any decency, any redeemable qualities about yourself, whoever did this to that girl, you need to give their asses up. If you don't, I have no problem saying that your mama should be embarrassed and your daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. Wonder what the maid is talking about. Yeah. Order,